What's up guys, it's Jay, we're gonna have kill, and I got something that I'm really excited to show you. It's a Law & Order Easter Egg! All you guys know that I'm a big Law & Order fan, if you don't, you know now. So after Sanctuary goes up, you're gonna have these pile of morons standing around and you gotta help the Sheriff out. So let's see what the Sheriff has to say. Hey, feel like solving a murder? I'm the marshal around these parts. Uh, one of these gutter quadruplets pulled the trigger on that boy over there. Consider yourself deputized. Uh, ask around to Moxie and Zads, figure out which one of these identical scum stains pulled the trigger. Otherwise, I'll just have to hang them all, and I don't got that kind of time. All right, so we have to question the Marshal, Moxie, and Zed, and it's kind of like a Law and Order episode. So let's go ahead and question these guys. Well, I heard a gunshot a couple of hours back. Naturally, I ignored it until someone came and got me. Uh, well, I found this boy bleeding onto the concrete, a uh, single bullet in his throat, and, and I saw one of these gutter boys running away. Man, that's all I know right now, more's the pity. Thing that ever a gutter brother? Yeah. Oh yeah. One of them barged in here a couple hours ago, demanding safe haven. I told him I couldn't make any promises, and he got bitchy. I had to pull out Ruby and put a few rounds in him. His shield ate the first two, but boy did he feel the last one. Nobody threatens me in my joint. Sure, I pulled the round out of one of them gutter boys. I healed him up as good as new, but the little skunk overpaid me. Six thousand, five thousand bucks. You don't need to confiscate that or anything, do you? All right, so Moxie put a shot into him, and the shield ate it. So whoever we're looking for is going to have a damaged shield. But they also got hurt. But Zed fixed him up good as new. So it actually probably should be Shin. I don't know why I picked this guy, but he took the blame for it. So, Marshall Friedman's going to pop him and give us a good old Law and Order one-liner. Right, if you say so. Yeah, I did it! I ain't sorry! Man, good job, deputy. Marlow thought he could snipe an innocent man and get away with it. But that... Was a long shot. So, like any good Law & Order episode, there's gotta be the order part. We've already done the law, now we gotta do the order. Outside of Scooters later on, there's gonna be a Truxican standoff. A bunch of kids fighting over who stole what money from who. One of them's telling the truth. Three of them are lying. It's up to you to decide. But guess what? It doesn't matter, because even if you pick the wrong one, they're all just gonna shoot each other anyway, and you get to pick up the order shield. From what I heard, it's actually Jim. But you can make your own deductions. So let's see what all the commotion is about. Help. Look, it's a long story. No, it's a short story. I write short stories. We were supposed to divide the take four ways, but somebody up and nicked it before we could split it up. Oh, those idiots still screaming at each other? Marshal Freeman here. If, if you want to do me a solid and shut those morons up so I can get back to my nap, that. Know that only one of them will tell you the truth. The other three are liars. If you could figure out which one of them robbed the other and popped them in the head for me, uh, that'd be awesome. Look, given what we know about human consciousness, I can be certain of only one thing. I didn't steal the money. I know my own mind, and I know my mind didn't steal it. If I knew everyone else's minds, I might be able to help you a bit more, but sadly, I can only speak for myself. And I Sam's full of crap. Sam stole the cash, without question. After she and O'Cantler were done celebrating our successful heist, I saw her stuff the loot down her pants. Look, between you and me, O'Cantler's the thief. When we were making out, he was all, yeah, baby, I'm gonna steal all that money. And I was like, no, don't do that. And he's like, oh, yeah, baby, I'm gonna. And I was like, that's so wrong. So I want to thank that crew. He's the one that gave me the footage for the Truxican standoff. I didn't actually have the footage on hand, and I asked him if I could use it so I could make this video for you guys. And he was like, yeah, sure. So his link is going to be in the description. I want to thank him. Big shout out to him. But now that we have the law and the order, the law pistol gives you 100% melee damage. And the order... It gives you huge Roy damage when the shield's depleted. But not only that, but if you use the wall while using the order, every time you melee somebody, it's going to heal your health. So that's the law and the order. And put it together, you get one big ass tank class. And I'm using it on my assassin and maxing out my melee tree. So let's go see exactly what the law and order can do for you. 
That's right, Slappy. You smell it, don't you? That's the scent of a gentleman. <laughs> Badass. Beware sight. Slappy's tentacles. You can blast them in half, but they'll regenerate sooner or later. isn't all it's cracked up to be. Still, not your fault. Retrieve my arm and return at your leisure. The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time to go to work. <laughs> God damn, did you see that? Not only did I put old Slappy down, but I ruined all those ants' days, man. That was pretty cool. And it's uh it's really awesome. So if you're interested in making a melee class, I highly suggest picking up the law and the order. Chomp chomp. <laughs> so my name's Jay, more than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys later. The law and the order. Chomp chomp. <laughs>